Sorry, y'all. My mic was mute. I did start this last night, but I was so exhausted that I couldn't finish it. So, um, I tested positive for the Rona. So, you know, if you don't hear from me no more, that's what happened. They got me. I got it from my husband. He said that he started feeling sick after drinking some water from his job. So, that's that. Besides that, everything else been kind of going to shit. Like, I mean, things just been crazy as fuck lately, for real. But, you know, I still feel pretty positive for some reason. Like, I feel better than I feel like I should to be, you know, with COVID, body feeling tired and achy like you're doing, um... Me not me being stuck in the situation that I'm in because I'm not financially secure. Um, everybody telling me that I'm the problem, something is wrong with me because I don't see things the way they see things. I'm not the way that they think I should be. You know, not really having any support. I talked about it a little bit on my podcast, if you're interested, but besides that, though, oh, oh, yeah, 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 somebody probably, maybe this is, I'm going by the candle that I burned, I also had a reading that said somebody tried to put some shit on me, that made me less confident, that made me prone to bad luck and all of that. I mean, the shit could be working. I mean, I don't know. But, what else? Oh, I'm the villain. I'm the villain. And you know, I be really up here be like, I treat people pretty good. I go above and beyond, but you know what, I'm just, since everybody is making it seem like I'm the bad person, like I'm the villain, um, because I don't do what they want me to do, I'm gonna just take that, I'm gonna take it, and it is what it is, nothing I could do about it. Well, it's nothing I want to do about it. Because I like who I am or whatever. And they do too. I just don't... I'm confused, honestly. I am. I don't know why people treat me the way they treat me. I don't know what more do they want from me. Um, I don't understand why they talk about me like they talk about me and stuff. None of them, like, actually come and talk to me about it. Like... They might talk around me, like they might talk to this friend, they might talk to that friend, they might talk to this family member, but talking to me, they don't do that. So, yeah, I decided I'm just going to stay to myself. And I met like a bomb ass cat tonight, you know, I might just go ahead and be a cat lady. I really want that cat. That cat, I was just, that cat came up and consoled me. It was a beautiful thing. I really needed that. I felt like that cat was the the only creature on this planet that understood me. That's how I felt. Anyways, let's get into this reading. Alright, so, Brother Polite. Um, 
I don't know about y'all, but ever since I came across Brother, Brother Polite, I was not feeling him. I just, like, I just knew that he was fraudulent. Um, I knew that his attentions was just to make money and he was basically ripping off black people and monetizing off of their pain and suffering. And I remember some years ago, he was at this table with a whole bunch of white people. And I knew then, I like, nah, this dude, this is a, a industry nigga. This dude is a real life plant, you know, where they say that they plant certain people in the black community to keep them oppressed. He is one of them. But I'm saying that we don't have to make it like so mystical and everything. Uh, we don't even have to make it into like a conspiracy, really. A lot of times, these narc hotel leaders are created by society. You know, you could grow up with them in schools and stuff. If we go back and look at that, like at their childhood, um, I bet y'all. I know I sound like nasally, like I could hear it. Um, if we could go back to his childhood and his upbringing, we could see how these seeds has been implemented. And to be real, in this society, to make a million dollars, you're gonna have you're gonna have to sell like bits and pieces of your soul. Um, like me personally, I don't look to be a millionaire, but I I want to be stable enough that I can live comfortable. But I'm not trying to be like filthy rich or whatever. I don't think that would make me happy, but. Oh, boy. So now the news came out and said that he has molested a 14 year old girl. They said that he was dating the mother, tucked the girl out somewhere, gave her some type of drink where she was like knocked out. It was on some Bill Cosby type shit, like something in the drink. Um, I believe they said that she had like a bad reaction to it. So he was trying to get her to throw up, but not before somehow getting his semen all over her. So she do remember some of it. She said that he push her to give him head while she was under this influence and then he returned her to her mom with her face all swollen and told her mom not to call the police because it will ruin his career and I'm just like this nigga and when I was hearing the stories I was seeing the visual I was trying to shake it. I, sometimes I can't stand when it happens, but um, it was pretty gruesome, pretty gruesome and sick. And I don't feel like this is the first time he did it. And I definitely feel like he did it. I really do. See, he's not a conscious person trying to heal the black community this nigga is a industry dude he's an industry dude 
And when you get caught up, see, he already sold his soul. When he was sitting at that table with all those white people, he was signing contracts right then and there that started him on a path of selling his soul. Now, see, a lot of times these people in power, like, they don't really care about money like we care about it. They got so much of it, it's like not even a thing to them. It's more about control and power. So when they try to get you like to do what they say, they will create extreme fetishes within you. Like they will take you out to a few parties and stuff. They get a couple of Aphrodites, women with Aphrodite energy. These ain't no fucking Jezebels. These are women that have such a extreme seductive quality about them. And it's classy. Like they have something about them that, you know what? A good example is P Valley. Um, both of the main characters, the dark skin girl and the light skin girl. That reminds me of Aphrodite type energy or Venus type energy. So, and I remember one time I wrote about Venus and I wrote her, she was like smoking a joint. She had like a picture, a painting, a portrait of her on her wall naked of herself. And, you know, I didn't understand at the time why I was describing venus like this it just what came naturally if i could find that right in i post it to my blog but i was listening to the peace dealer talk about venus and what she truly represent and i was like yeah that's how i see her too naturally and it's kind of like I, how I always seen her, you know? So this is before I like hear anybody talk about the energy. I'm telling you, everything is energy. And when you tap into energy, you just know. So they will take you to parties with these women, with this Aphrodite type energy, and they will turn you out. I'm telling you, you don't stand a chance. Not at all. Yo, my taste is starting to go, y'all. So, and it's a reason why they do this. Um, Like, Andrew Gilliam, he was going to be the governor of Florida, and then he got caught up in that scandal. Where he got caught up in that hotel room with drugs and male prostitutes. Like these people in this industry, they dig out your shadows. They dig out your kinks. And for some reason, let's say that you don't have any. They will create it. And they will create it in like a subconscious way. Like they might slowly implement it into you over time like they might introduce you to one of these aphrodite type energy now these women get paid good and they will take their time you might be in a whole long-term relationship with them not knowing that they are being funded by certain people in power to turn you into um, a sex demon. So they get you addicted to all kinds of stuff. They get you addicted to drugs. They get you addicted to sex. They get you addicted to money and power. And then they will use that against you. They will definitely get you addicted to something that is illegal or something that is look. At, in the public eye as wrong now 
Now, what I was curious about is that why it always seems to be like them into underage girls and stuff like that. It's attached to a certain like psychology when it comes to men. Um, especially black men and their inferiority complex because they are made to feel inferior since they are children. So it creates this strong need and want to have power and control. And like when it comes to like young girls and they so naive and easy to control or manipulate, they attracted to that. They attracted to that naivety inside of them. That's why you see people like uh, Alihio, and he would say stuff like, yo, I'm like her dad and she like my daughter. But it's weird how he go from at one minute they, they, they his mother and then the next minute they his daughter. So it's like when he wants to view them in a sexual way, they become his daughter. But then when he wants them to cater to him and be like a housemaid or whatever, then they his mama. But what I'm trying to explain is that they create this psychology. They create these type of people, these type of men. And a lot of time, if you give these men any type of power or money and stuff like that, you can't tell them anything. And they, they won't feel the need to look deeper inside themselves to see, like, why I do this, why I do that, why I believe this, why I believe that. Nah, they just want to feel powerful. So let's, I want to look into Brother Polite, what type of person he is, what type of person he is, selling insights to the highest bidder, compromising your vision to make it more acceptable, what type of person Brother Polite is. Withdraws from society out of fear or negative judgment, judgments of others, refusing to help those in need. Type of person is but a polite. He not a good person, y'all. Like all of these come in reverse. Hoarding money and emotions, obsessive fear of losing your wealth. Golly. Mm. So, Brother Polite don't care nothing about anything but money. That's all he care about. That's all he cares about. He really don't care about anybody else. Like, when I tap into his energy, it feels void it almost feel worse than Alihio's like tap into Alihio energy is kind of like um it's like he's stuck at an age 14 that seemed to be a, an important age um but Alihio is stuck at that age so it's like He's a whole man child. Um, he hasn't grown up. He don't really have the tools to grow up. So, you know, but him, Brother Polite, he's 
his ass might have just had been created like traumatized at a young age I'm here in jail I'm here in jail what happened did he go to jail let me look that up real quick y'all yo yes yes he has something happened and I'm seeing like 15 years or something so he been in prison he did a long term prison sentence and it was something about murder <laughs> yeah no when he was in prison something happened to him that I'm gonna look into it hold on y'all And he must have, he, I feel like he, look, the imprisonment card came out. I feel like, um, he upset somebody. Um, he upset somebody, like, before this incident. No. No, 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 no. Not before the incident this particular situation he just elfed up but mm, geez, I'm Jesus uh, all right let's start out with what happened to him in prison to create this character that he is what happened in prison Okay, so with this pathway card, I feel like he was given a choice. Almost something like a plea deal or something. Um, okay. What was his choices? Let me get another deck, y'all. And read these upright. What was his choices? his choices new birth guarded vigilante okay so i feel like somebody came to him gave him some type of plea deal uh when he was in prison like a mission or something like that to be real i think that brother polite for a minute might have been like a undercover agent or something like that that's why he's so cold and detached because at this point in his life until the day he died he can't really speak on certain things but i do feel like he snitches on people like he's an implant uh he took some type of deal where he like gather information
on like certain people. Um, hmm. He was such a wreck when he got that sentence. Like, I'm like seeing him begging and pleading for a chance for freedom. Basically being like, I would do anything. Like, please, I cannot spend my life in prison. That's pretty interesting. And I feel like the person who came to him and, like, got him out was somebody that could have been, like, in the military at one point. It was, like, an older man, but I feel like he got real power, like, real position. I'm actually seeing that. Before he had even got that sentence, he was already, like, in cahoots with people. Like, it's kind of like feeling like he's he was in a gang or something. He was a part of something um, that he was doing, like, he was doing, like, organized crime. But for powerful people mm. all right i'm gonna ask like what do the people empower wanted him to do hi arnold this this card came out before i'm actually looking the booklet to see what it means exactly i do feel like they wanted him to be in a position of power to have control over like a group of people. So let me read this. This is the most enabling and positive card. Here we see the canon or the canonase as the significator, significator receives a 21 gun salute. Literally, it means trophies, medals, honor, success, promotion, a raise. Ascent and exam are graduating with honors. The significator is on his way up. Significator. Socially or professionally, more abstractly, it also represents anything high or tall with courthouse. I was saying that with other cars. Okay, so... That's the first card I got, and it's basically saying that they wanted him to get into a position of power, give him accolades. They knew that they had control of him, so if they put him in a position of power over a certain group of people, they can control the narrative. So what they want him, what they wanted from him, more, more of that. What they wanted for him. They promised him a lot of money.
Uh, all right, some of the stuff I can't even talk about for real, for real. But with this bad health card, um, they wanted him to be in a position of power so that he can have control over a group of people but it's something underneath that he still is evolved and like organized crime um there's something i want to say but i don't think that i should but he his job is just not doing stuff for the black community um that's just kind of like a cover up but he's evolved and even uh oof. worse things i'm just going to say that just worse things and with this child card i feel like um he might even been targeted since he was a child man it's deep it really is and he might not even be fully aware of it i'm seeing some bad things happening to him when he was in prison like certain type of torture methods But, um, like, all of this is happening for an even bigger reason. It's almost like, in a lot of ways, like, even with this happening now, I believe he did it, but I believe that it's for a, it's almost like a distraction or something. I believe he did it, but it's like, they know how to trigger you. Um, they know how to trigger certain people by putting certain people in a path and everything to, and it's like they program to be like sadistic like this. So they just needed him to get caught up. But that first sentence, that murder charge, I feel like that was even constructed for a particular reason to take away power for him or something like that to have like more control of him okay i'm gonna move on to i first want to know the relationship between the mother because this is supposed to be like a girlfriend. It seemed like like some type of new girlfriend. I know that he's poly and everything. Um, have multiple wives, but he still dates around and whatnot. But I want to see what was the. What was a relationship about? So I feel like the relationship was started off of decent intentions. Um, they might had history in the past, like this might have been a girl that he tried to get with in the past and she kinda like turned him down. So he was seeing this as like an opportunity to 
you know, get with her and show her, like, what he got going on now. But, and I felt like she was thinking about having, like, some type of serious relationship with him. Because she seen him as the emperor and she wanted to work together with him, like, on some projects. Okay, so how did Polite feel about the daughter? How did Polite feel about the daughter? Conflicted is what I'm hearing, like... And how did the daughter feel about polite? How did the daughter feel about polite? Before the incident. This is quite complicated. Um, I do feel like hmm. because at first I'm seeing him kind of like avoiding her like with the chariot reverse and the hermit he was kind of like distant and withdrawn from her but she had like the girl the 14 year old girl with this devil card and a three of swords um i'm feeling like she had some form of attachment to him Maybe even something like a crush or something like that. And then she started to show him like... Um this like queen of cups it's like she became the queen of cups to him and then after that she felt like the sis of wands like victorious because this is the point that he started to like open up to her I'm not quite sure if it was like um open up in like a romantic way or something like that but there was some type of romantic exchanges between like the both of them mm. y'all I do think that there was like romantic changes between them
So I was asking how did Polite feel about her going up, um, leading up to the situation. And it's the Ace of Cups and the Lovers Reverse. So that was like some type of emotion there. I do feel like there was like some type of attraction. And initially it was mutual, but he started to get her to drink or something like that. Um, why did he start to get her to drink? I feel like it's to loosen her up because she was nervous. There might even be test messages that comes out. Yeah, I got the Queen of Wands reverse. I feel like it's because she was nervous. There might be like test messages that come out like between them and them kind of like showing that there was back and forth type of flirting or something. Like, there was a conversation leading up to this incident. I feel like they was conversating. Um, and they went to the hotel room to, you know, do something. And then she got nervous. And he hooked her up with, like, drugs and alcohol. To like loosen her up. And she didn't take well to it. Mm. How did she feel about him. Leading up to. The incident. How did she feel about him. Leading up into the incident. She was starting to feel regrets. Like, it might have had started out something that was, like, kind of playful and fun and stuff. And then it got, like, super serious. And she just wasn't ready for it. And she started to have, like, regrets. But felt like she couldn't pull out. Um, hmm. Alright, so I'm going to ask what happened during the incident. I'm going to start out with my... Keeper, Kepper cars, all that right. What happened during the incident? I want to try to keep this under an hour. I wonder if there was more than one person, like, it was more than polite with this community card. And with this expectation cards, there was something expected of her. That's why I feel like there was conversations and stuff leading up to it. What happened during... The incident in the hotel. Yeah, message card. Because I feel like there are text messages. Courtship. And in the messages, it looked 
romantic. So what happened? I do feel like at one point during the incident that she felt like she might die. She might have even been threatened. Like if she say anything, like she will die or she just thought she was going to die from an overdose or something with this coffin card. And despair, like things went from bad to worse, like very quickly. I felt like things moved so quickly, especially for her. And I'm feeling like she could have been taken advantage of by more than just polite. Like, there could have been other people evolved, which is sick. Let me get some. I'm going to use the Psychic Tarot. Like, at one point, she could have been out of it. What happened during the incident when they got in the hotel? I want the full story. It does feel like it was a lot of grooming here. Like. This girl maybe at one point felt like she was in love with him or obsessed with him. Um, but it was generated. From like little manipulation games that he used on women all the time um maybe things like the silence treatment or acting uninterested and stuff but it was all in like grooming her he was trying to like Um, and then it led up into this moment where they like meet up, be alone and stuff like that. But it's like he kind of wanted her to prove herself to him. And before she was like intoxicated, uh, they could have had sets before then and then after being under the influence again and it's like he tried to get her to be quiet by Telling her, like, we belong together and I love you and all of this. Because when she got alone with him, um, a shadow aspect of his kind of, like, took over and came out. A side of him that she wasn't really used to seeing. And he might have even, like, try to, like, manipulate her by being, like, you know what? I'm for the move on. Like, you acting scared. You acting like some little girl or something. Like, I'm just, I'm for the leave.
And then that kind of like made her give in. But things just got bad after she got intoxicated and had a bad reaction. What reaction did she have to the alcohol and drugs? What reaction did she have? I'm feeling like, for real, for real, like, I'm almost feeling like there was other people or maybe one other person. And there was some type of exchange for her. Oof. Yeah, it's more layers to this story. And I feel like some of them might even come out. It's more layers to this story, though. Like, it's more to it. It might even be more people evolve into it. Um, This could turn into, like, a sex trafficking case or something like that. But it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on here. Alright, I'm almost to 60 minutes, so I'm going to ask about the mother. It's something I write about her mom when it comes to this situation. Mm. Like, there's a major situation with money, gaining money here. Like, there was some type of setup. Nah, I actually think that her mom was really, was concerned. And this really did hurt her. Like, on a deeper level, because I believe that she learned things like those test messages and stuff like that, that really hurt her. Like, on this message or concern card, the woman is, like, looking at the paper, like, in shock of what she is seeing. And yeah, it really did hurt her. Let's get some clarity for this GIF, because this came out a few times. Privileged lady. So there was maybe some type of promise of financial gain here somewhere in this situation um it's hard to pinpoint where it was implemented i believe that the woman thought that she would um I felt like she thought that she would gain a lot from this situation. Uh, Even when he left with her daughter, she thought that maybe he would come back with something. Or maybe he was telling her that he was going out to get her a gift or something. 
but I'm feeling like there was concern before they even left. But with this despair card, I do feel like this is something that really hurt her in the next two the lover cards. So she might have really did have feelings for Brother Polite and this situation really devastated her. Everything that happened, it really devastated her. Um, I do feel like they might go after money. Like they might want some type of payment agreement or something for this situation. Like right now she kind of go, going over her options when it comes to this. So I'm asking how do Brother Polite feel about this situation. To be real, he don't seem to be as worried as he should be. I mean, he is like worried about his reputation. But he feel like he got enough pull to kind of like get him out of this situation. Which is amaze, amaze me. Like, um... Right now, he just kind of like going over his options, but he going over his options with some powerful people. He got some powerful sources. Um, This might be able to disappear with some money or something like that. So he looking over the possibilities. Um... He might even go to another country for a little while. If he have to, he would blame this on some form of mental health. Um, hmm. All right, y'all, I'm running out of time, so... If they take that money, then basically it's a wrap. Like, this is kind of going to disappear. And he might, like, relocate and try to start, like, some organization somewhere else. Um, he really just... He don't seem to be that concerned. I thought that maybe he would be a little bit, but it's like he more focused on what he gonna do when all of this goes away. Um, but if they don't take the money and then they go to court, then I would do a part two to see how he feeling about that. Because right now, I'm seeing that it's money on the table. <laughs>